Hello everybody and welcome to the channel of Coding Ninjas on YouTube. Right? In this video what we are going to discuss is the best coding platforms that are out there where you can practice for your next interview, you can practice data science algorithm problem or you can compete with other people globally or in India. So let's begin with the video. So according to me the best platform to solve DSA problems or data structure algorithm problems specific to interview would be Code Studio by Coding Ninja. So why is that? So first of all, Code Studio has the solution to each problem with multiple approaches. So why is that important? So let's create a scenario for interview, right? So when you are given a problem to solve in an interview, you will think, try to think in all directions, right? So and in an interview generally, we try to give a suboptimal solution first, basically a solution which is intuitive, which may not be the best solution, but we always uh, give a most intuitive solution first and then we build upon it to give the most optimal solution. That's the way a interview process usually goes, right? Uh, sometimes it may happen like when you directly give an optimal uh, solution, the interview might, uh, interviewer might think that, hey, you already know this problem and may change the problem and give you some other problem. So it is important to know multiple approaches to solve a particular question, right? So uh, at Code Studio, you will find for each problem multiple solutions uh, from the brute force approach to the most optimal one. As a pro has a prior problem uh, setter at Code Studio, I know that we work immensely hard on the solutions and the editorials and the editorials are written beautifully and you can find the code along with uh, in three different languages right you can find code in c plus plus java and python so that's the first thing and second like while writing editorials and even the uh, code best practices are followed so let's take example of uh, let's say lead code right so before code should I used to practice on lead code so on lead code i had to go to the discussion forum and like uh, scan through a lot of blogs that people have written about that problem to get to the uh, solution and uh, many times the solution was poorly written and the variable name was uh, like not relevant but at Core Studio you will always find a beautifully written editorial and besides it you will find the best uh, code written using the best practices that is the indentation should be correct the variable naming should be relevant uh, according to what is being done right so that's what makes Core Studio the best problem uh, best platform to solve coding problems. So the second category I would categorize is like if you want to prepare for some company specific uh, interview, right? So let's say you have an interview for Flipkart, for Pocket FM, for uh, let's say Paytm, any, any of the tech companies and you, you have like a crunch of time that you may have on campus placements coming on that you may have uh, just like you cold call someone and you have an interview set up in a very short span of time. So you want to practice as much as possible according to the company that you're going to interview. For. So for that also I would really recommend Code Studio because there are company specific questions which are like absolutely free. So if like I compare it to let's say Lead Code, right? So Lead Code has a premium tab for which you have to pay right to get to the questions and the all of the companies are not there. Right? Some companies may be missing like if you try to find some companies for like Paytm or even like Zomato or Blinkit basically the Indian based company they may or may not be there but at Code Studio you will find all of the companies like ranging from the uh, product based silicon valley companies like um, facebook amazon microsoft and like adobe and stuff like that to all the way to the indian startups the really good indian startups which offer like great compensation like blinkit or like a neo bank like jupiter money paytm uh, bharat pay and zomato and swiggy all of these right so that's what make core studio really good right so it's free and as i said earlier like there are multiple approaches so it really preps you for the interview so that's why like if you have a crunch of time right so uh, let's say you have uh, an on campus online interview right in two three days then i would really recommend that go to code studio select the company which you're interviewing from and that then you will get all of the companies that uh, all of the questions that the companies ask right uh, that uh, companies have particularly asked with solution so in a crunch of time you don't have the time to 
let's say if you're not able to solve the problem then you need a quick solution right so that's what code studio provides so i think like for interview purposes uh, for preparing for interview or just pa- practicing data structure algorithms problem i think i really think code studio is the best online platform and other than that other alternatives could be like you could use lead code it's a fairly good platform right um, and you also could use bindresearch.com right uh, it has some features of lead code uh, and some like it's it's uh, somewhere in between like I would say like code studio has everything unlocked and everything for free. Uh, then I would say on the other hand of uh, it would be lead code where there's like a lot of logs which is like a, a gate pay uh, paywall gateway. And in between I would say somewhere is mindresearch.com like which provides somewhat free content. But the content there is generally usually missing that you won't find a lot of questions there. But it's also an uh, equally good alternative, right? Then also like uh, at code studio you can find the top sheets from like various of your favorite other youtubers like uh, lead coding with fraz i believe and striver and i believe nishan chahar's uh, uh, sd sheet if you want to do you can find that on our platform code studio so it really like um, and as i said before like i i feel like i'm repeating myself but you get the solutions like when you start uh, practicing problems now the biggest deterrent that i have seen is like people get demotivated demotivated by solving problems why do they get demotivated they get demotivated because they are not able to solve problem and it is really hard to push yourself when there is no one cheering for you right so when you are not able to solve problems you are uh, you feel a little demotivated you feel a little disheartened that hey i just uh, like i may have spent like hours uh, understanding the topic and i'm still not able to solve the problem so that's where like the solutions and multiple approaches come in handy like you may be getting a, a time limit exceeded error basically your code is too slow then you uh, at code studio you will get how to optimize my code right so all of these like literally for practicing as i said a little practicing data structure algorithms question or like even learning them uh, through our guided paths really makes a code studio a really great platform all right so coming to the third point interview experiences so i feel like reading interview experiences is really really important in the sense that um, as you know a wise man said that life is too short to make all the mistakes on your own so do Uh, learn from others mistakes so at code studio you get interview experience of like plenty of companies from plenty of people so uh, that and also you are given like the direct question that was asked in that interview uh, and you can like directly solve it so there is a link for it and you can click on that link and it will redirect you to that code on an online just so you can like type out your approach in uh, the language that you like and then you can submit it so that is really powerful so one incident comes to my mind so this is very recent so this was like last week a recruiter from a neo bank called me like they said hey ankush we want to interview and i said sure uh, can, uh, when can you schedule my interview and they said you know what we want to interview today itself so it was like 1 pm in the afternoon and they said you know what our recruiter or our technical uh, recruiter is free at 4 pm so we would like to schedule your interview then so i uh, like you know you cannot say no in such opportunity so i said yeah sure uh, schedule the interview but i was scared to my bones that what i'm going to do so i what i did was and this is a true story i went to code studio i listed that company's name and i read all the interview ex- experiences that were there and i found that same type of questions were being asked again and again like they really enjoyed asking questions from dynamic programming graphs so i like just Uh, had a quick glance over those topics and i really was able to ace that interview i did got uh, got a second call for that interview so that really saved me uh, at that time so like the interview experiences are really awesome you should really check out uh, for any company that you might have an interview and it also mentions if that interview was on campus or off campus so usually we see that off campus interviews tend to be a little like by 10 15% harder so like it mentions that if that opportunity that uh, is being written about is is was it on campus was it off campus it also gives a uh, very good insights like on if the candidate that is writing the interview experience is that if he or she was rejected then they write that why do they think they were rejected what are the pitfalls there and what you should keep in mind if you are applying for the same position right so it really helps you a lot it it can really help you when you have a crunch of time and you really want to succeed at interviews so i would say this again right so for interview preparation and like practicing data structure algorithms problem 
कोर्ट शूट इज द बेस्ट साइट लाइक डू चेक दैट आउट प्लीज लाइक इट्स रियली ऑसम अदर ऑल्टरनेटिव एस साइड यू कैन ट्राई लिल कोड यू कैन ट्राई बाइन रिसर्च यू कैन ट्राई इंटरव्यू बेट बट आई बिलीव लाइक एज ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू लाइक देर इज नो साइट दैट कम्स क्लोज टू कोर्ट स्टूडियो राइट सो बट अदर दैन दैन राइट अदर दैन दैट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कम्पीट विद अदर पीपल वी डू हैव चैलेंजेस ऑन आर वेबसाइट बट इफ यू रियली वॉन्ट टू लाइक कम्पीट विद द बेस्ट इन द वर्ल्ड देन यू कैन श्योरली ट्राई आउट कोर्ट कोर्ट फोर्सेज राइट और इवन कोर्ट शेफ सो आई वुड से नेक्स्ट टू कोर्ट स्टूडियो इफ यू हैव रियली लाइक प्रैक्टिस अ लॉट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम ऑन डेटा सिक्स कोर्ट स्टूडियो देन यू कैन मूव ऑन to code forces so what's the benefit there so at code forces you can compete with the best there has to offer right so you can climb the ranks there like the cramps uh, ranks go something like being like starting from pupil sorry newbie then pupil then specialist then expert and so on and like the community support at code forces is like really great right so basically uh, even the top coders like uh, red coders uh, <laughs> reply to your comment if you have some issues and like it's a really wholesome place to be so i would say like if you want to compete like you can try code forces you can try code chef and if you like uh, you can also try uh, different platforms like top coder and art coder like i won't advise them as much because they uh, again like when you are going in a, on a site that primarily doesn't write editorials then that's a basically con right you will get stuck and you won't know how to move forward so that ultimately causes uh, demotivation but uh, the community support at code forces is exceptional like uh, nothing seen of so i would say like after practicing enough problems on various data science algorithms like bind research uh, dynamic programming or even like graphs graph algorithms like bfs dfs topological so or dijkstra minimal standard tree i can go on uh, and like essentially uh, knocking down your basics basically like uh, linked list trees priority queues heaps right all all, all of this stuff is really important then you can move to dif- uh, different sides like code forces and like even code chef you can participate there obviously like participating in contests really helps you to prep you for your online interviews right uh, your online assessment that is the first round which is always the eliminated round so yeah you can try those websites as well so to summarize to practice data structure algorithms you can use various sites like bind research lead code but i still believe that code studio is the best another special mentions i would say like hacker rank is decent enough it gives you star so it gives you a sense of accomplishment and hacker earth is also fine but nothing compares to code studio like they have really good interview experiences they really have good company wise uh questions and one thing i even may, uh, forgot to mention they also have like topic wise top questions so you can see top questions for dynamic programming binary trees hash maps and stuff like that so it's really cool so to for practicing data structure and algorithms and to for to practice interview questions i think code studio is the best and if you want to further move on and further compete with the best of the best that gives you an adrenaline rush so you can try out code chef code forces so these are the best online online coding platforms that uh, are out there so like don't just watch this video uh, go and practice on code studio or if you like code forces go go practice on code forces it uh, it will really help you so that's it for it for this video so if you like this video do like and share with your friends do subscribe to coding ninja channel if you haven't already do comment below if you think i missed any uh, platform that should have been mentioned and my name is ankush and this was it for this video bye i'll see you in the next one